From a Nobel Prize winner's prediction to Google's new generation quantum chip, this is AI Weekly. Nobel Prize winners say artificial general intelligence is coming sooner than many think. British Canadian scientist Jeffrey Hinton, often dubbed the godfather of AI, spoke in Stockholm ahead of this year's award ceremony. It's not hype, and it's not designed to distract from other, other problems with AI. It's what we have believed for a long time. Now, I thought it would be much further away, but the speed of recent developments means I think it's going to be quite soon. I think between five and 20 years, and we have to worry seriously about how we stay in control of it. OpenAI says it's released its Sora text-to-video bot to more users. The model had been restricted to safety testers since its debut in February. Now, ChatGPT Pro and Plus users will get to try the system, which is meant to rival products from Google and Meta. Donald Trump has named former PayPal exec David Sachs to be his AI and crypto czar. The president-elect's tech backers generally favor a light touch in both fields. One expert predicted Sachs would focus on regulating AI just in certain critical areas. This wind turbine was designed by AI for a specific location. Developer Kit Windows Yule at England's Birmingham University says bespoke systems could be much more efficient. The really exciting part of it is that every minute detail of the geometry of this wind turbine, every, every twist, every edge, every bend, every angle, has been tuned and tweaked by our EvoPhase AI to be as efficient as possible for the specific wind speeds and specific topography of Birmingham, UK, where we're based. And Google says it has taken a big step towards reliable quantum computing with big implications for AI. The tech giant says its new Willow chip takes five minutes to solve a computing problem that would take a classical computer more time than the history of the universe. Commercial applications are still a ways off, but Google hopes quantum computers will one day solve currently out-of-reach problems in medicine, battery chemistry, and artificial intelligence.